identified all of the bad habits or any risk factors that can jeopardize your business. Hi, welcome to another episode, David Sin Alas. Today, I'm going to introduce a really important topic about risk for your business. And for every business owners, we have to be responsible to get rid of these risk factors so that our business can flourish. Now, now here is it is like a a container. Now, because the width of this container in like the, the edges here are already too narrow. It doesn't matter how much things you put in because of the limitation here. Whatever is coming down will be limited by the size of the middle portion. And this is what we call bottleneck. concept of bottleneck. How are we as business owners can limit those bottlenecks or possibly to fix them to bring about a maximum efficiency for your company. Now today I'm going to talk about six important factors on how you can do it. Now let's go over point number one. Habits. Previously, I mentioned a company starts from top to bottom. Now, if we have any personal bad habits, such as, oh, we are lazy uh, as a business owner, or we are not on time, do you, do you think our words will affect the rest of the team? Say, I have a meeting at 10. And I'm supposed to take John to see this client. And yet, I didn't even show up in front of both John and the client until 10.30. And I was late for half an hour. What would you even say about these kind of behaviors? Laziness and any has any bad work habits cannot be tolerated and that is why everything starts from top to the bottom and we have to make sure that we cannot let our own personal flaws to get into our company culture. Now second point, systems. Do we have some kind of a system in place so that we can handle our daily operations more efficient? or a lot easier. Now, when I first started my e-commerce business, we have lots of these paper orders that we, have, that we, that we got from, off from our clients and then we have to uh, basically get them from, this, uh, get them from, um, from the clients and then we have to uh, keep the copies for ourselves. And most of the time, these paper copies, they get lost easily. Now, if you're a business owner, do you have some kind of a system to make sure that these records are kept safely and for a very long time? That is why nowadays it's very important to digitize all of our records and any things that, would, that are important for your company. An example is I typically scan all of my documents and I I just store them on like a cloud server and by doing so you won't be afraid that another fire accident is going to burn or destroy all of your records and this is very important especially when it comes to tax returns because you, there are times that you need to submit evidence that you have paid for a certain expense and these records have to be stored safely and that's why going digitized is the way how we have 
made for our company. And that's why keeping all the records safe and have a system to make everything efficient is the number one thing you have to consider. Now imagine you have John as a really, really important partner or even like workers, employee at your company. He handles at least 50% uh, of the daily operation of your company. Now imagine one of the most horrifying things that can happen to your company. Guess what? Yes, you got it. What happens if John got sick or for whatever, he got into like a car accident, then who's going to handle the 50% of your daily business operation? Well, that is exactly why it is important to find either a backup or even a plate of replacement to make sure that if this one important figure at your company goes down, there is always a backup for this person so that your business is not being nagged by these kind of limitations. Supplier. In our e-commerce business, we always have to get supplies off from different suppliers in the world, say China, the US, anywhere you name it. Now, there are certain really hot products that we sell a lot, a lot, and, and because they are so popular, can you even imagine what happens if the supply jacks up the price? Just because he or she feels that, oh, you know, we can just manipulate the price to make more, product, make more uh, profits off you, just because it's giving you a good business, right? That's why you're willing to pay. Now, as business owners, you need to make sure that you diversify your suppliers. It is important to get quotes off from different suppliers uh, whether it's the same product or similar substitutes so that you won't get threatened in the case if the supplier jacks up the price. Competition. Well, being in a business, you're always competing with everyone in the world. And this is exactly why we can't be lazy not to study about competitions around. It's like going to a war zone with you holding a sword and then your opponents holding machine guns. So it's important to study your competition and make sure that you are never behind. Point number five, technology. What type of technology is your company using? And marketing is a very, very typical example with nowadays marketing are mostly done on social media. And that is why it is important to use all kinds of technology. So if you're at the startup stage, just use any free technology that can make sure that your company is running at the fastest speed you can to make sure that you're never behind your competition. There's six very important factors to remove your risk. Make sure that you always do your best job from top to the bottom, remove all of your personal bad habits, no laziness, stay focused all the time, Number two, do you have a really good system to make sure that your business is running efficiently? To make sure that all of the records that you have are saved? Do you need a replacement for an important person on your team to make sure that your company is running 24-7? Meaning that if that person goes on a vacation that your business can still keep running. Supplier, always get a couple more quotes, 
making sure that your supply is stable and those supplies can easily just jack up the price to make your profit margin smaller. Always understand your competition because we are competing out there. We are on the racetrack. That is why we need to make sure that we have to do our best. Are you using the best technology on the market? And many of the good technologies actually come in free. That's why always study and keep learning what's on the market right now.